Hi everyone, Shane Armon Rowe here, and if you suddenly find that your emulation station DE is broken, you probably got an update through EmuDeck, and you are now using 3.0, which is, well, at the moment of this video, is not well uh, handled by EmuDeck. So go ahead and run EmuDeck, manage your emulators, and scroll yourself down to Emulation Station. It's okay if yours doesn't look like mine. Um, just find your updates and run the update for ESDE. Now this takes a little while, and I'm gonna leave the whole thing in here so you can see that it's actually working and not failing. So 3.0 has a couple of new features. It's been renamed to ESDE, a couple of other things. Uh, it's got a very nice, nice new default um, theme, but unfortunately it breaks a bunch of stuff and I'm sure, I'm positive that EmuDeck will fix this in the immediate future, but for now you need to get back up and running. I'm gonna help you do that. So once this is done, we're gonna go ahead and run it from whatever means you prefer. You can run it from Steam. If you happen to have uh, injected it into your uh, start menu, then you can run it from there. Uh, obviously, I don't have it in here for my own, so we're kind of stuck here. But we'll go ahead and run it from Steam where you've probably been running it this whole time. So we'll go ahead and run Emulation Station DE. And the first thing you're gonna notice is it's now ESDE. It's a little bit different on the screen front, but not too bad. Gotta admit, it looks pretty clean. Uh-oh. So the emulation folder for the data directory has been changed. So we're gonna have to go in and rename our directory to this directory. Now, dot emulation station's hidden. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of uh, nonsense here to make that happen. Now, after the first run, that es-de folder is already made. So let's go ahead and exit. We're gonna go into Dolphin and take a look. If you don't have hidden files turned on, you'll need to do that or you won't see the emulation station folder as it's highlighted here. We're gonna go in, uh, see down there is the ESDE folder. We're gonna go in and grab everything in here. We're gonna copy it and we're gonna paste it right into that folder since the folder's already made. And we'll do right into and apply all, let it do its thing. Okay, so now we have followed the first step of getting things fixed. So let's try it again, shall we? Once again, we will run Emulation Station DE or ESDE. Oh, the ROMs folder hasn't been picked up. Uh-oh. All right, so we're going to have to change that ourselves. And believe me, you're going to want a mouse and keyboard for this, people. But listen, uh, I know if you don't have one, you're going to have to make do. So what we need to do is we need to change this path to our SD card and or wherever it is you have them installed. It doesn't matter. It's still going to be a level of effort. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so let's quit. And we are going to go into Dolphin and we're going to go and find our ROMs folder. If you're on an SD card, like most people are, it's going to be on your primary SD card under emulation and ROMs. Otherwise, it's wherever you installed it. Okay, we're gonna grab this whole thing and copy it. We need that whole path out of here. Then we're gonna run Emulation Station DE again. And we are going to go in now and change the ROM directory. Now, as far as I know, you can't do this without using a keyboard. So we're gonna paste it in with Control V. That whole path is what we have to have in there. So if you wanna type that in by hand, God bless you, otherwise use a keyboard. Or maybe you can do something with the uh, built-in controls. We're going to go ahead and exit and restart just to see if it picked everything up. Make sure everything is copacetic. All right, here we go. Cross our fingers. That looks better. Yes. Oh, look at that new theme. It's beautiful. I like that. It's very clean. It's very beautiful. Yeah, look at that. All right, you can see we're on 3.0.0. That's great. So we're uh, in good shape there. Um... All right, well, let's look around a little bit, see if we can notice anything of interest here. Okay, so um, where's all my artwork? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I know I had artwork scraped for this stuff. It's gone, where's my artwork? It's nowhere. Uh-oh. Um, okay, so if the ROM path changed, probably the downloaded media folder has changed as well. We're going to have to go in and figure out how to change that. 
So this can be found in other settings, game media directory. Look at that. It's going to that brand new folder and it's not going to where we want it to be. So we're going to have to do the same thing we did before and change this location manually. Let's go ahead and exit. And once again, we're going to dive into Dolphin. We're going to go to where our emulation folder is. And uh, let's see, I'm trying to remember where it is. Is it under storage? No, not under storage. Where is it? It's uh, tools. Ah, there it is, downloaded media. So again, we're going to grab that entire path, that whole thing. We're going to copy it. And we are going to run it again. Okay, now we're going to go back into <laughs> other set or uh, other settings. No, go back. We're going to go into other settings, and we're going to change the game media directory. And again, Control V on the keyboard puts that nasty long path right in there. And we're going to go ahead and commit it, and hope that our media is back because I am not rescraping all this again. Hey, there we go. Woo. I was gonna start sweating bullets here. Uh, I did not want to uh, scrape all of that again. Hmm. There is a little something funny here, though, right? Look over on the right. There's no um. No, not that. There's no uh, data. Where's the players and the developer and all that good stuff? It's not there. Last play just showed up, but where's my other stuff? Why isn't it showing up? Is it the new theme? I mean, look around a little bit. Let me find something a little more mainstream here. How about some Intellivision action? Nope, the media is here, but unfortunately, the data isn't here. Hmm. Let's rescrape one item and see if it'll bring it in. Okay, so it's scraping. It's selected Congo Bongo. We'll choose that. And save. Oh, look, look, it's all back. Rating, released, players. Uh-oh. I have a bad feeling I'm going to be rescraping a lot of stuff, and I'm not, I'm not excited about that. Let's see if we can figure out... Let's try a different theme. Maybe it's the theme that's the problem. So I'm going to change... Ooh. I don't think that theme works anymore. <laughs> so um, it doesn't really matter. It's still not showing the metadata anyway. Ooh. Um, okay, let's try a different... Um, Let's try a different theme, I guess. Maybe maybe this one's broken, the um, the modern one, right? Because it's been replaced with linear. Let's try a different one. Let's try Slate. Okay, that one definitely changed, and it looks okay. Let's go back to Intellivision and take a look. Nope, our metadata is not there, uh, except for the ones we already scraped. So that's that's bad news. Listen, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helped you out. I'm sure... Within a few days, this will most of this, if not all of it, will be fixed. But in the meantime, you can get back to playing your favorite emulated games. I'm Shane R. Monroe. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, blah, blah, blah. And we'll see you next time. Take care.